Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. You can find out more about that interview on our website. And now, edX, an American MOOC, is one of the largest in the world. We find out how it works. Education models are not carved in stone, not even in a solid and old institution like Harvard. There are three main MOOCs and they are all US-based. They're called Coursera, Udacity and edX. In April 2012, the Ivy League University, together with Massachusetts Institute of Technology, launched edX. The word massive in a massive open online course is meant in a literal sense. This year, about two million people watched Professor Lee Wynn's online physics lectures. The, the reason why this is as important as the invention of the printing press is that we reach out now to millions of people who could never have dreamed of being in a classroom, who would never have dreamed of getting an education, let alone that they can now choose one course from Harvard, one course from Berkeley, one course from MIT. MIT launched MOOC's precursor, OpenCourseWare, in 2002, but that was mostly a camera in the back of the class which filmed the entire lecture. The video content and other material was made available online, but edX is now trying something more engaging. Lately, we've been doing more um, filming original content in a studio, um, multiple cameras, lighting, um, being able to cut back between different angles. If you take this course, your life will never be the same. I will make you look at the world in a way you never have looked at it before. Professor Lewin has the potential of millions of young uneducated people worldwide in mind, as well as motivated locals. I study after the kids go to bed and on Tuesdays when the nanny's here. Kirsten Hashimi has five children, a husband, a master's degree and a career. For her, edX is more of a refresher course. It's so rigorous, much more rigorous than I had anticipated, that if they can build a reputation for being rigorous, at some point some employer may look at my certificate and find that it has value. But is it as compelling as being in a classroom? It's a live play that we do now versus making a movie. Which is better? I don't know, you know. But think about it a little bit. How many people go to live plays and how many people go to movies or TV? The goal is so-called blended learning, which should combine the best of online and in person. If universities don't embrace technology, if they don't embrace the whole online tsunami, then they will be in trouble. The successful universities will embrace online learning and bring it onto their campuses to improve campuses. So I like to believe that online learning is like a rising tide that will lift all boats. But enthusiasm apart, massive doesn't suit everyone, and there's currently a 95% dropout rate among MOOC students. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.